Hello. Um, in this video, I wanted to uh, show you a simulation of the common source amplifier circuit that we've just designed. Um, and so I have drawn the schematic for my common source amplifier. Notice that I have uh, modeled my own MOSFET uh, with essentially uh, the right value for threshold voltage, uh, the value that we were giving our design problem for, uh, for the parameter K, the MOSFET transconductance parameter. And then I have entered uh, my CGDs, CGS, and CDS values. Um, and the first thing I wanted to do is run a transient analysis uh, to check two things. The, for one thing, I wanted to double check that the DC biasing was correct. The, the DC biasing point that we established matches the simulation, uh, but also to figure out uh, or, or basically confirm that the gain is negative 10 as we have designed for. So I'm going to run the simulation. And I'm going to uh, first, let's go ahead and measure some of the bias points. The first thing I want to know is about my current, which I had designed it to be 2 milliamps. And so if I look at uh, these values, I can see it is you know 1.9, so fairly close to, to 2 milliamps. Notice that there is a variation in the current, and that's just because uh, this is a small signal amplifier. And so as we are applying a small signal the, at the input, we are expecting that uh, all of the voltages and the currents um, around the circuit are fluctuating. Um, there's a small signal fluctuation on top of the uh, quiescent DC uh, voltage or current in this case. Um, I expect my uh, DC voltage in this point, I mean I apply my input signal, which is an input signal, is a sine wave of an amplitude of 10 milli, 10 millivolts, so there I have it, and it's centered at around zero. Uh, but remember, I set my DC bias point in the base to be around uh, four volts, and so I expect that when I uh, measure the signal here, I'm going to have the same 10 millivolt signal, but riding on a four volt offset. So there it is. Um, I had figured out my uh, source voltage. To be around 2 volts, so there it is that. Because my overall source resistance is 1 kilo ohm and I have a 2 milliamp uh, current, and so 2 milliamps times 1 kilo ohm uh, should give me 2 volts here. And then up here, I'm expecting um, again my current is 2 milliamps, my resistor RD is 5k, so I know I'm gonna have 10 volts drop across this resistor, and my BDD is 20 volts, so I'm expecting my output to be centered at around um, 10 volts. There it is. And then uh, as I go through the coupling capacitor, I expect my offset voltage to be removed from my signal. And so it's centered back at zero. So DC-wise, uh, things are looking good. Now I um, can verify the gain of my circuit. Again, I have a an input signal, which is a 10 millivolt amplitude sine wave. My output signal V out is an inverted, because uh, this is an inverting amplifier, uh, an inverted version of the same sine wave multiplied times the gain, which is 10. And so the amplitude of my output is 100 millivolts, I expect. So in that regard, everything uh, seems to check as well. Now I'm going to run my AC analysis, so I'm going to go ahead and comment my uh, transient analysis. And instead I'm going to uncomment my AC analysis to verify if I'm allowed. Um, to verify my low cutoff frequency, high cutoff frequency, and uh, it'll also show me the gain even though I've already verified the gain. But So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, I don't really care about the input signal too much, but I'm going to take the output signal again. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, remove the face. Alright, so I'm going to attach my cursor. Um, get it out of the way a little bit, maybe up here. Yeah, let's see. I'm going to 
I know that this is my magnitude is 20 dB, so 19.7, so close enough to 20. And so I'm gonna try to look for the uh, point where I have 3 dB below that, so 16.7. It's close enough. And so 43 hertz, a little bit lower than the 62 that I calculated, but same order of magnitude. Uh, that's for one. And actually, I guess this is disrupting more than it's helping. So I'm going to attach the other cursor and move it to the same point on the high end. Um, 16.7 dBs, and I get a uh, cut of frequency, high cut of frequency of 1.4 megahertz. And so these results are fairly close to what I calculated. And um, that's about it. That uh, basically confirms what we have calculated uh, for the common source amplifier. Thank you.